Hey everybody, welcome back. <laughs> so, yep. Hey again. So, another thing I did kind of forget to mention on the first video, for those who didn't catch it last week, me and Spink did a streaming live kind of video on um, YouTube. Bro Force! The day of Bro Force! <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't played the game, please play it. It's fucking yeah, hilarious. Yeah, that hilarious. Um, that's kind of like a test thing of what we're going to try and start doing some more of, hopefully soon. Yeah. Lord, best part about it is the video is saved up on YouTube, so if you did miss it, you can go back and watch it again and laugh at how hilariously we die several times against the same fucking boss. We didn't even beat the boss, did we? We gave up. <laughs> I nearly, I nearly had a tattoo that beat him, but then I misjudged one of his fucking legs yeah. <laughs> and jumped right under it. He was a big boy. It was. It was Satan! <laughs> it was Satan. <laughs> Final form, wasn't it? Final, Final form! form. <laughs> There's like six of them. Six versions of oh, Satan you gotta fight first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good game. Such a good game, right. So, we dig right back in to oh, the yeah. story. Party. It's after kind of getting back to Cape Sin, kind of seeing Vandrin, seeing Malorn, sorting out a few clothing stuff and other things, Danny, you are received a few, a few days later, the day of the banquet, a beautifully done red dragon scale dress, down to the exact requirements and specifications you've asked for, and it can be treated as a piece of scale mail armor, red dragon scale mail armor. Which thus gives you resistance to fire. Woohoo! Yes. Well, I used to wear that all the time now. I uh, don't think that's practical for no, fighting. Not practical. <laughs> Nothing we do is practical. Brothel, so <laughs> I'm always protected when I'm looking after my girls. Yeah, the golden marauders, not the practical marauders. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not golden now, she's red. Oh, well, golden well. chain and, you know. Red gold. And I've got my locket with the catnip in it still. Yeah, rose gold. Rose gold, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the rose so, gold <laughs> you all kind of You all kind of come together up in the Dragon's Demon Tavern. And now, uh, as you all kind of dressed up, uh, does everyone kind of go around and say what they're wearing? Just to have that Ooh. panache. I had a full of this. <laughs> it's up to that. you guys. You don't have to if you don't want to, so. <laughs> I think Flake would just be wearing something really inappropriate. <laughs> because he has no idea, he has such bad idea of what socially... It's acceptable to wear to a do, so he's probably wearing like. Oh no, you've got to be wearing like disco flared <laughs> bell bottoms. Bell bottoms with, with, the, with the sandals. Yeah, and like the, the v neck shirt, you've got moss popping out of it, and like yeah. it's flared everything. You like ready to disco. I invented sunglasses pop, pop just for the occasion. <laughs> yeah, because you're Afro, you know. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I made a medallion out of the dragon scales. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Spring's wearing usual sort of three quarter length tight trouser legging things, but with a red stripe down the sides. Um, white dress shirt with somewhat flamboyant cuffs. Waistcoat in a dark red, black with dark red padding on it, and a kind of semi paisley outfit. And then over the top of that, a coachman's great coat, also in dark red. You're going to get very warm. Spring's cold all the time. You're always hot. And um, that's got mm. sort of star patterns over it to go with the cloak. Mm. Yep. Right. Uh, exactly what I was going to have. But okay. <laughs> it's okay. Then, then the, pissing around is giving me the idea for my dress. <laughs> oh, yeah, do that. Turn off what? the same outfit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, do that. Down to the team. Um, <laughs> then one of you has to go home with Jane. Um, it's not going to be you. <laughs> yeah, but didn't you get all your clothes and clover drift? <laughs> as um, some guys. Pretty much like. A 17th, uh, 18th century, like, um, a frilly white top yeah. with, like, frilly... Yeah, no. a lord and lady. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like Blackadder. So a poet shirt. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes! Yes! Like Blackadder. Like Blackadder. Black 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 Prince Black Percy. Scarlet Divinette. Pretty much like... Pretty much... Blackadder. And he thought it would be nice to have a nice, nice little wig on top. <laughs> We, are we kind of we come down. Yeah. We come down yeah. wearing that yeah. wig, yeah. and yeah. everyone is. Oh, he's bald. Oh, he's a monk. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you come down wearing that wig, and everyone is looking at you like, it's like he's a barrister. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? 
Just that, just you look fine as hell. Don't change a thing. You're you're killing it. Damn, I didn't think Everyone knows what Danny's wearing. Royal Deception. Uh, Everyone on. knows what Danny's wearing. I need to scrub his accessories and Royal Deception. Okay, that is 30 on my Deception. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you got your gold ear cuffs and then a dangling dragon. And Sorry, she has a vision accessories. Yes, and the, my thingy and the belt. So yeah, we're good. Okay. Bit like dragon teeth hanging from my <laughs> Okay, Belle's wearing look. basically like a ball gown, but like galaxy colours, so obviously got the fam- family colours in there as well. Yep. And other starry bits. Kind of slightly That's matching. Looking good. But she's also wearing the That's tiara fresh. that fresh. No, the I'm wife sorry. made her. Yep. <laughs> I made a full set. So, yeah, but I'm not being that flashy. I'm just wearing a tiara. I've never seen the look I'm not being that flashy. Tiara. It's a new one. It's only a little one. Why are the, the, the crown trousers so wide? I have a princess, remember? It's a, it's a style I'm going yeah, with. Sure, they fit over the calves. It's like, <laughs> you do have good calves. You really do have good calves. Oh, and like away. ridiculously high heels. Just be able to climb up. So, yeah, thought you have good calves. Damn, yo. So, as your eyes Life looks good. Oh, yeah. You all kind of come down. You kind of, from the kind of the back area behind like the barrier, you see Nalraz and Rain coming out. Nalraz is probably in the most formal wear you'll ever see him Shit. kind of thing. He is wearing probably what some of you would tr- class as traditional sorcerer's robes, but a lot m- more kind of finer. They're a lot more res- bound to actually his body shape. You actually kind of, for a lot of you, you realize, actually, he's kind of more toned than you thought he was. Now that has ripped. Comes out <laughs> yeah. on, and even then, there's, he's gone like to some great lengths to kind of make certain things now we see it pop out. You kind of see a lot more of a dark blue to match his scales perfectly. Rain's a lucky woman now. Rain's phone yeah. out and in the most frilly next to over the top prom dress you can think of. In pure black though. All right. Okay, it makes it work. Oh. So it's like Kaylee's pink dress but in black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Hot> diggity. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Um, and so like Santa High Hill, she's Managed to makeshift some kind of leather boots with heels on them instead for it because oh. in quote, my ass. she doesn't <laughs> she doesn't like the whole heel basic heel side of most what other people wear. Surrounded by eye candy, I mean, you, know. you have two arms, who are you taking? <laughs> Fine looking group. Yep, he kind of stands up there, just kind of now that I just holds his kind of arm out and range, just kind of puts her arm around it. Well, like you a pretty picture perfect couple. Well, it's not often we get to dress up, and I do actually enjoy it as much as I can. Uh, trust me, everybody else time. enjoys it as well. Uh, mm. Right. I'll tell you what, why don't you go to us with a couple? And um, Spring just links arms, standing between these two. <laughs> and we'll go together. And you're like... One will be down. Yeah. <laughs> 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 very good. Well... At that point, yeah. Belle just takes the heels off and so she's down the rock and he's like, come on, that's me. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Always trying to make me feel special. <laughs> Wait, you could have worn heels. I am. <laughs> I went the high ones. Well, thankfully, I just kind of pulls out a small kind of like blue sapphire out from the pockets. We don't need to walk. As it oh my God. Light flashes blue. And next thing you all know, Inside incredibly well decked out banquet room. Ooh. One of the, you're actually one of the first to arrive. The ones, the only other oh, people there. No. The only other people there at the minute are Vandrin. So awkward on the dance floor. Yep. Well, I'm going to fashionably late. Yep. So the only other ones there at the minute. We could have pre-drunk. We could have. You can't make an entrance when you're early. There's no one there to see. Uh, yeah, there's, 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 no, there's no real way to make an entrance bar a blinding flash in this place. Oh, okay. Yeah, but we're still time. Can we go out and come back oh. in with a blinding flash? <laughs> well, unfortunately, I was your ticket in. So. Can, can oh. we go hide in like a corridor or something? <laughs> you look around, there aren't really any proper doors to this. Let's just all look fine as hell at a table, so when everyone else yeah. comes in, they so, think they're yeah, ready. We said this was a couple of days later, yeah, so we've now fully rested. Yeah, yeah, so we've all had your that. kind of um, long rest and everything. So, the only three there... You see Vandrin kind of stood there. Very kind of, you can definitely tell decorated kind of war hero kind of thing. Because he's definitely kind of got that, even back, even for that kind of time, he's wearing very formal, what would be like, off-guard military wear. Incredibly formal, kind of line every part of it. Few medals and kind of things just as a 
stain of declaration. You see his wife, to which you two, I think you would as well Mm -hmm. remember from the seal, um, Leandra, uh, Leandra, sign there, again, very flowing uh, ball gown style. And you see Malorn, their son, so there, deep green and purple, basically a suit. (laughs) <laughs> and he's basically, and then it's a proper. Has he got purple question marks on it. No, <laughs> no, but it's like it's a lot more like the old magician suit. So it's got yeah. like full three pieces. It's got a I've tail. Got he's tails. wearing tails. like very kind of extravagant gloves, and he has a cane as he's well. He's definitely gay. He's definitely the Riddler. <laughs> hey, he's got a cane, and you can just see over the That's side somewhere a purple and green yeah, top yeah. hat that is just like kind of stood there, kind of thrown onto the thing. Yeah, he's a Riddler. <laughs> oh, I, hello, my friends. <laughs> oh, look at you. Wow. Mm, have you got a brother for me? <laughs> well, I mean, I would go normal sorcerer's attire, but, I mean, anything to piss the old father off. <laughs> well, you have to And he, kinda, he spins the staff around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Right. Okay, then. We're a pretty uh, attractive group so far. So, one by one, over the next like couple of minutes... More flashes are kind of brought brought into the room. First one, after it kind of clears, you notice a female standing on her own. Much more formal girl than probably you've seen her before, Anne. She's still wearing her infamous hat. Avanska! Two swords slung across her, across her side. She's wearing kind of leather trousers, opted out for the dress, but still wearing her kind of heeled boots as well. Standing with a smile, her ginger hair kind of flowing down the back. She smiles. Well, it's wonderful to see all of you again. And especially at such a beautiful time for peace. How's now that? tell me, where's the rum? <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> we were expecting you. Stash. <laughs> How's um, the captain? Oh, uh, well, Anton, he's been, he's been well. I mean, he's kind of popped through after we've retook Ford Bay. He's popped in and out occasionally. Doing well, got a lot of uh, business going on in the troll aisle. Troll Island is apparently something about uh, some marked heads at the minute that he wishes to claim. <laughs> Sounds Fair like enough. a good plan to me. It'd be nice to be popped in occasionally. Mm. Felt like he can't tell the ball. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> hmm? Stop writing the love notes to each other. <laughs> and this is stuff I need to know. <laughs> okay. All right. So, the next one, blinding flash you see, out pops it as a half orc couple. A uh, female is dressed, albeit kind of more muscle and tone than kind of any other females you come come across, wearing very basic kind of ball gown, a few rares and tears because she's probably brought one size too small. <laughs> the male. I'm gonna lose weight for it. <laughs> yep. Male is. That we all know that pain. <laughs> Male again. Most of the males so far has kind of seem similar, not too dissimilar from what Vamjin's wearing. Kind of very formal, military, off guard, kind of formal wear. Are we um, a fucking military police now? <laughs> yes. Um, With dogs and murder. Next, you see a alone a green tiefling come in, horns Ooh. pierced straight up. He is wearing. Mm, well, let's just say something you would have seen Flake wear before his uh, <laughs> Dawn to Cleric hood. Okay, maybe not. Um, so seems, a, seems to be like a... Uh, You're going to hear off. Seems to be like a kind of like a suit made out of purely like leaves and <laughs> different branches and things like that. But he's still maybe. He's made it. a little freaky. <laughs> it made, mm. has made it work quite well. Next, you see a female dwarf no. pop in. This is Freya, we don't want to know. Yeah, Freya, <laughs> she gets some. But... Stocky. Very stocky, gin, kind of ginger, more running to kind of grayish hair now. Bearded. Nope, she ain't bearded. <laughs> um, wearing kind of more traditional um, kind of um, dwarven finery wear. Next, you see a female gnome. Too Pop short. In this time. <laughs> Pure ginger, freckles everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to call her. a septic peg. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I kind of should be, um, so the half-orc was introduced as O.R., given no last name. The tiefling is as Teron Terriar. Mm. 
The dwarf is introduced as Magni Farside. And the gnome is introduced as Ginger. <laughs> Ginger. Last name is not Spice. sad because... No. At <laughs> <laughs> a rub, she goes, And my last name? Ginger Min. Ginger Minj. <laughs> <laughs> There's a drag queen by that name, I'm pretty sure. Was there? I'm pretty sure Ginger Minj was on Drag Race. <laughs> Yep. Oh, now she's on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you, you laugh at something, Peg, but I've actually got a, a no um, sorcerer on Warcraft called that. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the next one to arrive is a male halfling by the name of Doran Lightfoot. <laughs> there, are, but there are halflings on the council? Apparently so. Well, you does Well, the council is no, comprised of a member of each race as the representative of the race. And then now I was kind of looking at his kind of like things that. Like, where's the fuck she is? She's a bit late. One more flash comes off as familiar winged um, Arakoa female <laughs> steps through as Ravana Talon. Uh, Ravana Talonwind, leader of the uh, Snowfall Monastery, <laughs> as well as the. I'm <laughs> now. <laughs> steps through. Do need to talk to her. Bows. Sorry, sorry for my lateness. I had some other dealings I need to see to before coming. That's quite all right. Everything okay? Yes, we're just trying to make sure that certain people are in the right places for uh, in case things go off. Didn't this have to be somebody from every race here? Yeah, where's... Where's all the Goliaths? And the Tabaxi. Oh, wait. Oh, promotion. And the Wood Elf. We're on the council now. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so am I, apparently. <laughs> As you all kind of sit down and opening the discussions, it's like, now that explains to you, well, long ago, probably before your time, the Wood Elves agreed, as well as the Drow, as long as they remain friendly, were to work under all the, all the Elven kind and have one representative. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> as for the Goliaths and Tabaxis, unfortunately, we did send messages, but we weren't, nothing came back at the time. Bear in mind, this was a thousand years ago, so... And you haven't tried since? <laughs> We've been a little bit busy in those thousand years. We do apologize. I'm and so the fact that we will look... A thousand years is a long time to be busy. <sighs> they must be tired. No. <laughs> it explains the bags on their eyes. Do you guys not want a nap? It? Like, really? <laughs> We're fine. It's because we're so on the well, getting away with in that. In that outfit, yes, you are fine. Yeah. Need Everyone put some cucumber on his eyes. <laughs> no, some ice. Put his hair up in a towel. Yeah. You know. Get my spa. Damn. Pedicure. <laughs> yep. Everyone kind of takes a seat. So you're all kind of shown to like area to like area where you're all kind of sitting next to each other. As you all kind of sit down, you all notice like a glass and glass, not like a mug or anything else, appear in front of you. Is Dalian there? No, Dalian unfortunately isn't there. He wasn't invited into the. Uh... Dang. <laughs> Not even as um, entertainment. Oh, there's music coming in the room. You just don't know where the music's coming from. Oh. He's secretly there. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You all kind of sit down. Vandrin, kind of the only one left standing, raises glass. A toast to the end of the war. To new friends. And to hopefully a new future. Hi. Come by! As you, all, as you all drink, while the liquid in the glass seems clear, as you all drink, it's your, you all notice that, even if you talk to each other, it's a different drink. Ooh, it's free flavor. So for you all, have the drink that you wish most desire to drink. Oh, it's cum, great. <laughs> Physical drink, not, not something that some people actually spit out. <laughs> and so we're trying not to at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I just laughed so hard at my own joke. It's <laughs> really pathetic. Oh. I would have laughed with you, but I was too busy trying to swallow. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this is why she's my wife. Um. <clears throat> what did you get? They seem to have found some of the 84 vine from the Laughing Vine. It was a good year. Oh, don't don't be mistaken. It's a wonderful alcoholic drink, but it's been specially brewed by 
much better brewers than I, unfortunately. It is designed to stimulate the taste buds of your favorite drink. Ah. Just be methylated spirits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm a little disappointed in my favorite drink. Apparently it's the cheap swill from the first tavern I, the tavern I stayed in when I did my first job. Brings back good memories. There you go. Maybe Who's been braiding my wine cellar? Yep. Cheap I as water. fuck, though. You have water. Wow. But uh, yeah, the 84 was a good year. Or nice right. album yeah. wine. You've got Dr. Pepper, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. no. It, it, it can be piss. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, feast. We haven't got a good record with feast. No. 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 Spread <laughs> wedding. <laughs> Yeah. Why do you think I wanted an armored gown? <laughs> so as surely weapons are allowed as formal way. Yeah, 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 you're all allowed like certain ones. Like here, at least you're allowed at least like one sword as a basic ah, formal kind of just as a formal display of. I have my wand of the brass dragon strapped to my waist. <laughs> I have my chain. And I've also got a dagger stuck somewhere in my dress. Yeah. Dagger's so, always concealed around the person. Vandron sits down. Let's talk and enjoy, everybody. Ninja. Food suddenly appears, and somehow Ooh, it's like your, mi your minds were red as your favorite dish suddenly appears Don't say in front dick. of you. <laughs> Get out of my fucking head! <laughs> Have you seen that comic with the cyanide and happiness one? Yeah. Oh, the, read your mind. You get exactly what you want. Flopping pile of dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Goes with the cum I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> the conversations throughout like, the dinner kind of turn very benign and like mixtures like military things are like, what we're going to do with the military is there a need for one anymore this war over an eventual peace talking about different things the five of you have been brought up a number of times amongst all the members and it's been agreed that at a ceremony in a week's time you'll really all be honored mm. within the ceremony as heroes of not just the city but the continent, the nation, and in certain points, and try and having your words spread out of uh, these heroes who. Excellent. I'll get some more pamphlets. A bit like the DLC. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played it yet, Mother of the Bear! I have no idea, I've just read that Frank, fiction. Can I have a word with you? Yeah, sure. Does this suit me? Yes! <laughs> a very strong look. It is. Mm -hmm. It's unique, completely unique. I rolled a 30 earlier, you should have believed every word I said. Yeah, but I know, but like, everyone's keep giving me a look. Yeah, and yeah, you. And I'm just well, like, not, not everyone, not everyone has met you, but Malorn, Vandren, Nalraz, <laughs> Rain are all looking, you're like. And what about the Arakura? Yeah, and the Arakura. Oh, yeah, and Ravana, yeah. Yeah, yeah Ravana's yeah. giving me give a look. I'll, I'll tell you now, Spring's being absolutely honest. <laughs> <laughs> Loves the fact you dressed up and you try to give a look. Okay, this. So, it, no. it must get warm under there. Yeah, Maybe the you, you can, you can just take the wig off. Like, oh, oh, there yeah. we go. Yeah. Oh, look, you yeah. get a bit of a rash there. Am I? Uh, no, that's that's wearing a table. Red wig. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to put it? Put it's it back on your chair. head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it looks weird on the table. It looks like you just killed the poor animals. It wasn't a wig, it was just a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. She's like, no, that just a wig. Oh, please don't be with Donald Trump, do. Oh, yes. Oh, the Uri Oh. Oh, yeah, it's just this, this uh, <laughs> really long haired rabbit. No, no, it's just this this horror channel that always has this sheep. Anime <laughs> sheep. In, Uru sheep. In, in this horror movie. In horror sheep. It's called Uru sheep. sheep. You don't it's know where just, it's going to pop up. No. It could be on grandma's plates. It could be on the pizza sign. It could be <laughs> stuffing on the bed. It could be in a van and it's the van doors open and just they all come out. Uru sheep. Yeah. This so, is what we anyway. watch on nights yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> so, as like the main kind of feast and talking kind of goes down, you all notice you're kind of looking at Vander and he's kind of got a worried look on his face and he keeps looking over at Rain whispering something. So eventually, you just hear Rain go like, "Now oh, there's no better time to explain Why is Vandrin whispering to no, Rain? Oh, now we're sorry. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> on Rain. No. Meal's kind of finishing. Now puts down kind of the cutlery and stands up. Now, need to apologize to the Golden Marauders first, as this isn't yeah. something that particularly affects the five of you. Okay. Okay. He looks around. We have all lived longer than we should have. I think this evident war is circumstance that we need to start changing how we do things. 
I think eternity, our time of eternity is over, and begin to pass on to the next generation. Do that. Nell, don't leave this body. No. I'm not talking about dying just yet. Oh, good. But, uh, where would we well, be? I guess context hmm. will be needed. The five of you are five of the, the five youngest members in this room by a number of years. Yeah, we figured. Mm-hmm. We've all found a way of cheating death as he holds up his hand, the rings that have allowed us to live agelessly. We thought well, we can do this after the last war, trying to at least keep a piece of counsel. And I think it's about time that we ended that. I've talked long with Vandron about this. As nah, Nalrise raises his hands and a big fire appears down through the middle of the table. As it's time we give that up. Start moving on. Don't destroy the precious. <laughs> <laughs> you see Rain taking her ring off as well. Vandrin, Leandra, and even Malorn all take a ring off. How old are you, Malorn? <laughs> you don't want to know. No, we do, though. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. Um, you see kind of the, everyone oh, else kind of you. looking at each other, just like... And after one by one, all taking the rings off as well. And throwing them all into the fire. Perfect music for it. All the knowledge <laughs> that will be lost when you eventually crack it. What happens if we put all the rings on at once? <laughs> <laughs> just asking. For you a become just just it's all together. <laughs> you become God. You become Thanos. You become yeah. Elwich. <laughs> now the eyes also kind of sits around, pulls out another ring from his pocket. I'm not sure. If the five of you remember Cartex mm-hmm. earlier, or oh, prayer yeah. person who was actually a very gaudy hat, hated it. Yeah, none of us wanted Cartex, and thankfully he didn't take the ring off the person who it belonged to when he killed him. Oh, good. Because otherwise, that's the way we use corpse, and we don't know where it went. Everyone, mood in the room has come. Utterly somber now. Everyone's kind of just in deep thought. This is supposed to be a banquet. I, I, I didn't want to be a part of a suicide pact. <laughs> <laughs> we still. The sign says Jonestown. <laughs> oh, no, 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 we don't. Fuck's sake! Like, you just hear the punch. And we're in the Kool Aid! <laughs> and that you hear Malorn's kind of. Oh, darling, it's not any form of suicide pact. Those rings just stopped us aging. That's all it was. We're now just gonna. Age as we normally would from this point on. And so. die. Eventually, yes. So, how old were you when you stopped aging? It's been a thousand years for everyone. I can remember a thousand <laughs> years ago. I think I was somewhere in my early 300s. Oh, okay, you still got a little while to live then. Still fine. Everyone else is kind of quite somber at, <laughs> <laughs> at this kind of moment and just like, well, it'd be time for us to be choosing new council members to take over for us as we... Faxi not so it. Of you sooner than later. <laughs> we should really get onto the tabaxi. <laughs> and the Goliath. Well... If so, and maybe the Woodhouse want to start representing again. Well, the other side of it is now that the Sundering has happened, we do have to form a council that can manage this continent. The other continents are managing their own forms of council and governments and things like that. So unless any Tabaxias or Goliaths move over onto the main continent in force. <laughs> <laughs> in Hi. force, of course. One can is not enough. <laughs> Have you seen him? He's clearly a force. He's the force to be reckoned with. Force of something. Look at the the afro. Force Force of of mushrooms. (laughs) No, you just force of mushrooms. Yeah. (laughs) But for the time being... Here, force one, of course. (laughs) For the time being, we'll all be finding a new council. And I've at least already got a couple of members in mind who've put forward. I'm sure Shamash would enjoy having a bit more say in the world. (laughs) No, it's been awfully quiet recently. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, he's not your dad, is it? <laughs> the mood turns a lot more kind of joyous again after a few moments of kind of this kind of depressing talk in a sense. Yeah. As the mood kind of switched kind of forward and people kind of start deciding about what they're going to do next, about where they're going to do, go and 
the ideas of rebuilding. Oh, I just thought Flake had started busting the moves out. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I haven't had enough methylated spirits for that. <laughs> Soon. That, about I'm an hour. Get off my table and be going. What's the alcohol? Ravana. Ravana. I'm gonna to go towards Ravana to say to you guys. I'll be back in a minute, just have a little word with someone. We don't care, you're not part of our group. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Uh, oh, you're too friendly, baby. Well, you've never said that to me before. Hey. To the outside, it's anyway. He's. Do you have to dance? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Your dance. What did you make performance, Jax? <laughs> this going for... <laughs> oh, Roll off the full scene onto the 6th. I don't know which dice to use. This, oh, yeah. this is, this is the first time. Hey! Because my wife is... Uh, uh, 18. I don't even know my wife. That's how I don't get it. Work. It's like, yeah, you're, you're dancing kind of eventually gets everyone... six. <laughs> the music kind of, kind of changed a little bit to uh, how you guys dancing. And everyone, some of the other people kind of get up and kind of just start... Oh, might as well make this a party. <laughs> Malorn just Damn joins right. you immediately. And she's like, well, gentlemen, shall we take the stage? <laughs> oh. Absolutely. Cain in Kane one hand, top hat in the other. We are singing show tunes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just like drinking. No, Bears is that show. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Like singular sensation. <laughs> Every folk you meet. <laughs> <laughs> you walk up to Ravana yeah. and she's just kind of laugh, kind of looking at him, laughing at the spectacle. And I whisper behind us, like, Can I have uh, the word master, please? Is it right? I'm sure we have much to talk about. And we do. Transfer her glass into the other hand. What's <laughs> that next battle? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> well, I was fighting Alex. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a renovation happened to me. A what? Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I'm gay. His large muscular body. <laughs> <laughs> I was knocked unconscious. Oh, that doesn't sound good. And I woke up with clinical uh. depression. Fact, you're still here. It must be a good testament to the training you had with us. Well, that's the thing. And I take my amulet off. Die! He's gonna die! And I give the amulet yeah. back to the master. Mm. I think it's time for me to move on from the monastery. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna die. Up, puts it back around you. You may leave the monastery, but you'll never stop being a monk. You know that. That's one of the first things we taught you. You okay. hold it on to you as a reminder. You don't need to worry about climbing up the ladder. You are now who you are. I'll just basically top the amulet into my chair. You don't. You're looking for a whoop. I'm not looking for. You're not even there. Cruising for a bruiser. So I basically say thank you, master. But uh, yeah, I'll be leaving the monastery. Alright. Well, make sure your things. Um, where you would you like them sent? To the bottle. No, you no. don't live there. But where where else am I going? I don't fucking know. I don't care. That's my. They don't even live at the broth enough. Oh, okay. Either, yeah. um, the, okay, to the tavern then. I assume now the is. I think, yes, it is. That's his name, I think. I'll be only met him twice. But it shall be done. Thank you. And I get up and walk away. Fucking trying to claim a seat in my house. My butcher. <laughs> you ain't living under my roof. Cheap cunt. <laughs> you weren't even there. <laughs> <laughs> House of House of cheap cunts, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't accept cheap cunts. So, throughout this entire time, you notice by the time you kind of so empty your drink, the saying is, we have cheap cunts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, but every time you empty your drink, you notice that the night is automatically refilled as well. Top fucking shelf Top cunts. <laughs> you you know, them first. Yep. The night kind of eventually winds down to a close, and you see some of the council members bidding their due, kind of saying goodbye to each one of you, kind of personally, and thanking you all for everything you've done. As I do, every time they go, it's like, if you ever need anything, come find us. It's an absolute pleasure. Just, just, I will remember your name in the morning. Um, yeah, hello. you? 
that age, you want to come back to bed with us. We'll look after you. Huh? No, I want to go for a walk. I'm going to go and look at the town. I need to get things to see. Uh, the night winds Wait down. Now the rest. Mm, night, night, night winds down, and now the rest kind of gathers you all. All right. All right, then. I think it's time to head back to the tavern and find our all ways to bed. Eh? As, a, bl- as a blinding <laughs> light hits you all. All right. Oh. Is Spring the only one drunk? No, I'm going to be pissed. I'm slightly um, drunk, too. Yeah, yeah I, I think we've all been drinking. <laughs> we've all been drinking copious amounts. Yeah. Trying to cope with fucking being around. You don't need to roll for it. Oh, yeah, I am. Yep. Yeah. Everyone make a constitution check. Then. Yeah, we do. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was waiting for. Ooh, Narp. 18. That's a dirty 20. Ooh. Natural 20. That's a vomit inducing 9. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's 11. Yeah, the two of you who kind of get back and just throw up <laughs> one of the tables. Oh, oh. Oh. Light is just oh Jesus! Oh, no. Larry, get the mops. <laughs> I no, I take spring as I come on spring. No, no, I'm going for a sure? walk. I want to go for a walk. Uh, no. so, now that's going to bear himself out of it. Isn't it boy? I have the windows open for you. The, I'm going to go use magic. For a walk. Why <laughs> is the room escape. spinning? <laughs> Trust me. Fresh air like that is not going to do you good. <laughs> Why are you blowing raspberries? Are you uh, blowing raspberries? <laughs> right. Well, Bring do it again! He lifts you up. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Carries you up the stairs. He gets vomited on. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's not used to it? Fine. <laughs> Puts you into bed. <sighs> opens the door. Has Puts like a spell around the door as... Consistent fresh wind is blown directly onto your head as your head just goes. <laughs> Bell's just stumbled over to the sofa and cut off onto it. I sleep here. I hate being told. Baby. Now the comes back down. Bed. I sleep here. Bed. Oh. <laughs> don't make me drag you up that stairs, woman. I am fucking hench now. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> no, don't. don't no, we're all Yeah. <laughs> he just carries her. Alright, that's it. I'm going to try and pick her up. <laughs> Yep, make a oh, strength check. Missing this. Oh, fuck. Oh. That's 12. <laughs> yeah, she just grabbed my arm, girl. <laughs> you don't uh, pick her up, but you're able to drag her quite easily. Ow! I'm gonna stop her away, and I'm going to try again, try and get a better grip on her. Why are you hurting that me? That's worse. <laughs> oh, no. The oh, alcohol's taking like effect. Yeah, the alcohol's taking effect. I could have been around to give you spray. Now, Laraz, get her off of me. Now, I might need a hand. Um... <laughs> I might be beefier now. No! <laughs> baby, honestly, you're getting really shrill. Now the rat's kind of pictured by the legs. <laughs> by the legs. Do you want to grab the arm? What the fuck? I'm just imagining him like lifting her up like by one leg and her like with pussies hanging out. No, he's got no problem. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna grab my arms and uh, wow. it's all right. It's one. I can re-roll that. Thirteen plus sixteen. Yep. And you may get get up the stairs into you guys' room. <laughs> I'm still at the bar. I've rolled a 20. I'm good. <laughs> I'm asking Dad's like, bar's closed for the night, mate. He no. Not if I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a bit. Yes. <laughs> Can Daddy, I take a bowl with me? me? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, guy, I can sort a room out for you, Bang, <laughs> if you wish. Um, I'm going for a walk. I can sort a room out for you, Bang. I need to go see someone. You're drunk as hell. You're staying Don't here. go see your bitch. I'll let him go get murdered. It's fine. We don't look need that. If you're going to go see who I think <laughs> you're going to see, he's going to be dead asleep as well. Okay, so, fine. Yeah. Uh, right, it's literally, it is late. Fine, it's not I'm, like an early it's day. It's late, late. It's fine, late. It's like so three in the morning early, now. Yeah. It's late oh, after guys, a good night out. Come on. Come on. is still open. Let's go clubbing. Let's go, guys. Perfection! Go on. <laughs> oh, no. No. Great lesson, death. Well, that's why we don't have uh, coronavirus and berries. Flex. <laughs> yeah, we're all immune now. Yeah. Right. It's probably been coronavirus and flex for years. No, so, we're also immune because of Brazilians and oh, vision. Brazilians. Oh, Brazilians. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I actually miss vision. <laughs> I never heard of it. Only because my leaving, McDonald's leaving, dude, because that's hilarious. I don't. <laughs> right, no. anyway. So you Envy all. And Ipswich. So you Got all eventually. I've been there a couple times. You all eventually find my sleep through the drunken haze of. Spring doesn't sleep on the bed. No? 
All the bedding comes off the bed, goes under the bed. <laughs> and he's nesting under the bed. All right. Daddy. You all find your way to sleep as we will pick this up next week. <laughs> <laughs> Hanger from the house, not even on a Oh, no, don't worry, there'll be hangovers of plenty. That's right, Flake's still partying. He's, he's made a toga out of his bed sheet and he's having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but technically, now that Bell's thrown up, Bell's gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, next week is going to be an interesting one. <laughs> no, she's just passed out of sleep like this, feeling herself, and like not literally feeling herself, but feeling great about how she looks, sort of like just staring down at her own tits. Sort of like, yeah, I'm going to fall asleep and look at my own boobs. <laughs> Is that nice. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for these episodes. Please yeah. come back again. Like, share, subscribe. Follow us on every social plat- media platform we're on, as we are now on Twitter. Because we sorted it out. Yeah. <laughs> I need to actually put some shit on the Twitter, but hey. It, so it's I, set I, up, though. on the fucking TikTok yet, because we, got, we haven't had a chance to get together to do it as a group. Damn. Oh, don't worry. If this coronavirus thing actually mm-hmm. closes it all of England, we can do it then. Yeah. <laughs> we can do shit yeah. then. <laughs> if I end up having to have four months mandatory off because of my asthma, I'll have plenty you of time. you get paid for this shit or not? Well, that's the question. Yeah. All right. Remember, everyone. Hygiene is fucking important, not just for coronavirus. Wash your damn hands, you nasty son of a bitch. Yeah, stop anyway. licking each other. Come on, nerds. Yeah, stop, stop licking each other. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're engaged, they're alright. <laughs> they're allowed to share the They share bodily fluids all the time. <laughs> not as much as I. I'm kidding, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that is such a Josh face. <laughs> Perfect. All right, everyone. Oh, yeah, you freaking really caught that, did you? Yeah, I caught that too. All right, everyone. Ooh. Please remember. <laughs> please remember, you are important. Fuck me tonight, will you? And you come around to mine tonight. We will see you guys next time. And until then, see ya. Bye. Goodbye. Okay,